Hello, I'm Greg Martinez from my living room. And with me today is Brad... <laughs> Hello, I'm Greg Martinez from my living room. And with me today are the musicians Shelly Carroll and Brad Lely. They play saxophone for the One O'Clock Lab Band. How y'all doing? It's nice to be here. Just a second. <laughs> Lab and it's a great experience. It's been one of the one a musical, a very good musical experience for me. In that, I it was challenging. It's been challenging, and it's been fun. And I've met a lot of people who have encouraged me. It's a good band because it makes you work. The school makes you work to get into that band. You don't start off, or a few people do. A few people have come to this school and jumped into the one o'clock, but the majority of people that come to this school have to go up through the ranks. They have to start from the bottom. They have to scrub the floors. They have to pay the dues to the practice room, which you will do throughout your whole life, hopefully, if you really want to be uh, a craftsman at your trade. <laughs> of once you're in the one o'clock, all the doors are open for you, which isn't the case. The case is that the one o'clock opens up a lot of doors for a person. It's a, a great opportunity to be in. But people have to realize that it's up to the individual to keep those doors open. It's up to the individual, <clears throat> the individual to make a living for himself. It's not up to the one o'clock to make a living for a person. Many 
different feelings. It's a feeling of that feeling of wanting to perfect your music to make it reach other people to to communicate with other people through music. I guess I really got started playing jazz when I got in high school. And I had a teacher who you know, made me aware of the history of jazz, musicians like, um, I suppose my first, the first saxophone player that I really got into, really listened to was Arnett Cobb, who's a Houstonian. And, uh, they play his music a lot on the radios, and I was listening to the jazz radio all the time, so I'm playing my horn along with it. And I said, man, who is this? <laughs> My inspiration in music has come from a lot of things, but basically I would say my first inspiration came from Cannonball Adderley. I can remember my teacher turning on an album to me, it was entitled Milestones, and that's the first time I ever heard Cannonball. Uh, he blew my mind, and after that I tried to get all the albums that I could by him, and that with the help of my dad, the encouragement of my dad giving me different albums by John Coltrane and other various artists has helped me to truly do something with this music that we call jazz. <laughs> Martinez from the living room. Don't think we need to do it. That's it, guys. We've done it.